to record using the Scarlett 18i20. First off, make sure it's turned on. Make sure your headphones are plugged into here and you've got two headphone volume pots, one for the engineer, one for the musician. Um, over here, we have our monitor control, so we can turn up um, our monitors using this. We can also mute them when we're recording to make sure that we don't get any feedback. Um, we've disabled talkback because we'll be using this in one room. And then here are our meters for uh, our gain of our individual channels. To uh, plug in your inputs, you can use jack or XLR and input one and two. Uh, the rest, we have a snake connected here. These are all labeled, so you can just plug them in and they'll, it'll connect it to the back. Uh, once they're plugged in, if you need to give them phantom power, you have the option to give phantom power to one and four or all the way five to eight. So you can just engage them like this. Um, then um, you have instrument mode, which is what you should be using. And then turn up the gain until you hit a maximum of uh, minus three when your musician is playing at their loudest. Ideally, if you go for minus six, that will that will save you the uh, the problem of clipping on your recordings. Once you've set the gain, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, you can just record with the monitors on mute, and then you can listen back to them unmuted. One thing you need to be aware of is that there is a program called Focusrite Control on the Mac where you will need to click on the input settings and then there is uh, a hidden button which on the smaller Scarlet uh, is a physical button but on this it's a software button and it allows you to activate the air mode. Uh, the air mode um, boosts some of the higher frequencies and it does give your recording a higher quality. It just sounds better, especially on vocals. So it's definitely worth experimenting with and uh, seeing if it improves your recordings.